if you ever want insight into the sort of mental process of SJWs, you need to look no further than Eric Lang. SJWs are not actually about principles. They're not actually about making the world better. They're not about actual diversity or inclusivity. They're just about maintaining their own little clout and power structures. Eric Lang is super scared of minorities like me uh, actually speaking out against his leftist propaganda, against his bullying tactics, against his hate and bigotry. And so, and against everything that he's set up in the industry to, of course, try to keep normal people out, try to make board gaming into a system of freaks uh, and weirdos and degenerates instead of uh, something that you do with your families. That's what Eric Lang wants. Uh, and he only exists in these spaces uh, by, of course, harassing conservatives and normal people. That's his whole MO. And we're going to get to this in just a second. All right. My name is John Delarose. I'm a number one best-selling author and award-winning comic creator. I'm banned from the Game Manufacturers Association because Eric Lang and Rodney Smith actually went out and ran a harassment campaign on me two months ago. Rodney Smith is from the Watch It Played channel, and Eric Lang is a board game designer uh, who's basically made his entire career based on victim bucks uh, for, I guess, being part black or something like that. So I uh, just joined. I was going to make a card game. I'm still working on that, guys. Uh, and I <laughs> didn't say anything other than, hi, I like these board games. These guys jumped on me because they can't even handle that somebody different exists, especially somebody who's Hispanic, because it flies in the face of all their narratives. So I've got my Overmind, and it did fantastic on Kickstarter, much to these guys' chagrin. And it's still going on backer kit right now. You can get the pre-order before it goes out. That link is in the description below. It's a comic book. I've got a novel. I've got actually all my comics and novels on there. I've done 43 comics. 17 novels, uh, so longtime veteran who knows what I'm doing here. You guys should check it out. Awesome stuff. Thank you, everybody who's supported so far. You're awesome. All right, so I've been reporting on uh, the problems at Gen Con over the last uh, several days. Now, Gen Con has turned into an SJW nightmare uh, from what once was a fun convention. I used to go with my wife, and we used to have fun. Uh, there's, some, there's some good companies that still go there. Uh, but over the last few years, it's been problem after problem. Gen Con has uh, made threats because Mike Pence was governor for a while about leaving Indiana. And then after that, uh, the, the quartering, Jeremy Hambly, actually was just minding his business, where this uh, crazy guy who's called Matt Fantastic, who sits on the board of Gamma, uh, if you want to, if you, if you want to, they always talk about safety and inclusivity. Well, Matt Fantastic uh, actually assaulted Jeremy Hambly. And what did Gen Con do? They banned Jeremy Hambly, the victim, because of that, because they didn't want that to get out to normal people that, uh, that these assaults are happening based on politics at their convention. Well, I'll report on it if nobody else does. All right. <laughs> Last year, TGG Games, a great company that has a full network, one of the largest retailing networks in the country, their uh, CEO got uh, escorted out of Gen Con. Why? Uh, he doesn't know. They never told him. They said because of safety. Uh, he's never done anything. He's never gotten arrested or anything like that. Again, he's just a conservative guy, and we can't have that being known at Gen Con. People from the Dice Tower harassed him. This lazy, this lady, Suzanne, uh, started making threats about him. And, of course, instead of escorting her out uh, as, as she was harassing him online, uh, they escorted him out as the victim instead. I had this same problem. So Tom Vassell from the Dice Tower, after Eric Lang harassed me and Rodney Smith harassed me, of course, then started purging me from groups and banning me from things too. So all of these people are in a coordinated whisper network of gatekeeping. They're in a coordinated whisper network of SJW woke politics. And even though all their crap is falling apart and all the fruits of their evil are being shown, they want to cover it up now. And Eric Lang will attack me personally rather than let it be known what's going on at Gen Con. So here's a, here's a little sampler. This is just from a, a random guy. He's an SJW. Uh, here you are, queer, disabled, creative writer, uh, GM performer. He, they, she. I guess he's all of them, or, or they're all of them, or she. Which one do you call? Which what, When they have all of them, what do you call them? I don't even know. Uh, so thank you, Ray. Uh, hey, I was kind of conflicted and pissed about the whole Gen Con thing, but now having seen two stories of sexual assault at the con... Uh, one I reported on yesterday, I'll, I'll actually leave that link in the description below because you guys uh, should see that, a transgender uh, was roomed at, with a volunteer uh, and paired uh, with, a, with a biological female, and the transgender, uh, of course, uh, tried to force uh, herself on 
the biological female. You guys can watch that video. It's, uh, it's definitely worth your time there. Confirmed COVID and, of course, monkeypox cases. We know how monkeypox is transmitted. Uh, there, too. I'm absolutely livid. More stories probably unspoken, too. Look after each other for fuck's sake. There it is. Maybe I'm being sick and grumpy and this is bothering me. It's not that hard to not being an asshole. Seriously. Yeah, you shouldn't sexually assault people. That shouldn't be that hard. You're right. Uh, I actually had a problem with an SJW. I, I, I never talk about this because I don't like to bring these victim attention things. But uh, back in 2014, there was an SJW guy uh, who's actually a industry professional. Uh, and he creeped on my wife the entire, uh, the entire, entire Gen Con. He started just coming up to her talking about like being a swinger and made her very uncomfortable. Uh, and when I went to the bathroom, my wife said that he got a little too close and she wanted to get away. These SJWs, these male feminists, these people who preach, you know, yay feminism and all that are, are always the worst creeps out there. Fortunately, nothing happened. We got away from the drunk guy at that point, but, uh, you know, and I was there. So what was he going to do? He's a little scrawny guy. <laughs> they all are. But, you know, these things are regular, and they don't come from the right. They don't come from toxic masculinity. They come from the nut jobs on the left that Eric Lang wants to protect, that he wants us silenced because he doesn't want this sort of stuff to come out. And this is what Eric Lang tweeted uh, in regards to my reporting on Gen Con. He says, Folks, there is a targeted and organized harassment happening at Gen Con spurred on by literal alt-right major social media accounts. So he's calling me alt-right uh, major social media accounts because I'm the only person who reports on this stuff, let's be honest. Uh, and I don't know why he calls it multiple accounts, but, you know, he's trying to be cute, right? Eric Lang does this thing. He actually posted a few months ago that, you know, we're not going to name names. We're just going to we're gonna signal about things so we don't give them attention. Uh, I pay attention anyway, Eric. You can't hide from the news. You can't hide from the truth. I'm going to call this stuff out when I see it, when I see evil going on. I'm going to call it out because you know what? Board gaming uh, should be a safe place for my family, for my children. And you know what? I'm not going to let you take that from me just because you want some weird sexual deviants running around half naked, drunk on drugs, doing their weird things. Uh, that's not what board gaming is about, my friend. That's not what it's about. All right. I'm sorry. I'm a little angry about this. <laughs> please, please, please do not signal boost the harassers. That's me. Uh, again, just because I'm reporting the news, even though Eric Lang has been the harasser who instigated stuff, who actually got me banned from Gamma, who actually got Tom Vassell going crazy about me, Eric Lang is the harasser. Be Make no doubt about that. Do not draw attention to the targets and block anyone who engages in harassment. So right, so we have actual sexual assaults going on, but because it's a transgender uh, being involved in this, Eric Lang wants everybody to block anybody who's talking about it because we can't have that. We can't. We we've got to have the propaganda. That's how sick these people are. A hundred percent. It's all about their little fiefdoms. It's all about their clout. It's all about their team po politics. It's not about what's right and wrong. It's not about actually protecting and helping people. That's what we're about over here. So Eric Lang, shame on you. Shame on you for everything you've done. Uh, over the last several years to try to harass people out of the industry because of politics, because of uh, there being Christians, uh, because of, uh, honestly, he, he did it to a Muslim board game reviewer uh, gal also. Evil, evil stuff from Eric Lang. And it's all because he wants a little extra attention. So uh, you know what, Eric? Uh, you need to stop and you need to uh, grow up is what it comes down to at the end of the day. All right, leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Hit that like and subscribe button, everybody. And we'll be back soon.